everybody knows that if a private detective or a policeman goes on holiday before he even has a chance to get out the suntan lotion, he's going to run across a dead body. I've put Sam Vimes through so many situations over the years, and I've twisted him around a bit. He's a man that can read the cobbles of the city streets with his feet. What happens if I put him in the countryside where people do things differently and a lot more slowly. And the countryside to people in cities can often be as terrifying as the cities are to people from the countryside. But he's still Sam Vimes. And deep in Sam Vimes, as you see in Snuff, the uh, the boy from the gutters, who can fight with his fists, comes back. There's always going to be some resistance to fantasy and science fiction. There are those that just can't deal with it. That doesn't really matter because there are so many people who can. But I also think that the SF community itself lives in a get kind of ghetto state. It rather enjoys, as it were, its little ghetto. I never really bother about it very much. I just write the damn books. It seems the only way to go. I'm happy when I'm writing. It always seems to me to be slightly uh, worrying that you're getting paid for doing something that actually you really would like to do anyway. But uh, that's how it goes. I've, I've just enjoyed it a lot. And I've done my best to do it as good as I could. But it's just been so much fun. I'm glad I've taken other people with me.